everyone this is Nazarat Fatima and you're watching live law today on 29th of March the Lok Sabha notification came before Supreme Court's hearing in the petition which was filed by the Nationalist Congress Party MP Sri Mohammad Faisal the matter was listed before a bench comprising justices KM Joseph and BV Nagaratna today the MP had filed a petition which challenged the refusal to revoke his disqualification despite the stay on his conviction the notification issued by Lok Sabha states that the disqualification of Lakshadweep MP Mohammad Faisal no more operates because the Kerala High Court has suspended his conviction on January 25. The notification states, and I quote, in view of the order dated 25-1-2023 of the High Court of Kerala, the disqualification of Sri Mohammad Faisal dated January 13, 2023, in terms of the provisions of Article 102, Clause 1, Subclause C of the Constitution of India, read with Section 8 of the Representation of the People Act 1951, has ceased to operate subject to further judicial pronouncements. Let's go into the details of the case briefly. On January 11, 2023, Sri Mohammad Faisal was convicted with three others for 10 years by the Sessions Court in Lakshadweep in an attempt to murder case relating to an incident in the year 2009. After his conviction, Faisal, a two-time MP from the island, was disqualified and the Election Commission of India announced by polls. Later, a single bench in the High Court of Kerala suspended his sentence on the grounds that primarily there were no weapons recovered from the accused and moreover the wound certificates did not show any serious injuries and as such his conviction was suspended. While suspending the sentence, Justice Bichu Korean Thomas of the High Court showed concern about the wasteful expenditure of a bipol, especially when the term of the Lok Sabha is set to expire within one and a half year. After the conviction was suspended, the election commission did not follow the press note for by-elections. Later, the Lakshadweep administration approached the Supreme Court on February 20 and a bench comprising Justices K.M. Joseph and B.V. Nagaratna refused to stay the High Court's order. Fazal, in his latest case, has contended that the Lok Sabha's refusal in restoring his position as an MP runs contrary to the Supreme Court's decision in Lok Pahari's case, wherein the Supreme Court held that the disqualification will also get suspended after the conviction is stayed. That's all for today. If you like our videos, please like and share. Also, subscribe to Live Law and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching.